You know, yesterday when I said, okay, we may need to make another Caulfield video the next day, depending on what happens, I was kind of thinking in my head, you know, it's going to take a lot to war in a video. Because I've spoken so much about Cole Caulfield, I would like to not burn the topic out, but... My oh my, Cole Caulfield came out here. The floodgates have been unleashed. The dam is broken. Yes, the thumbnail of this video is a screenshot from the map Hydro from Black Ops 2 because there's a dam in that map. And in that map, the dam opens up and the water comes flowing out. I thought it would be a very nice indication of what's going on there with the thumbnail. But before we get into the actual video, I want to say thank you to those of you who commented on yesterday's video about Kakenyemi and Cole Caulfield. Noting what exactly it is I mean to this community when it comes to talking about prospects and giving me validation in being in this position despite the fact that I don't watch every single game of every single prospect that exists in the world. So because of that, I appreciate you dearly. I saw so much positivity and love down there in the comments, which warms my dirty, cold heart for sure. So thank you for being there for me. Thank you for sticking around. And because of that, man, we have ourselves what is a very, very good prospect update to go over. This is the one you've been waiting for. Because finally, after five games played... Cole Caulfield has a hat trick, baby. Oh my gosh, it took him long enough. It took him long enough. Earlier two days ago against the Penn State University Hockey Club, the Wisconsin Badgers ended up winning that game 6-3, but they were heavily outshot. In this one, though, they were still outshot, but it wasn't by as much. If you take a look at the box score over here, the Badgers gave up 38 shots on goal. Robbie Baydoun made 35 saves, whereas the other goaltender on the other side, Liam Solier, was able to save 20 out of 26. Yeah, not great, but at the end of the day, it's a 7-3 win for the Wisconsin Badgers, and things kicked off on the power play with three minutes to go in the first period as Cole Caulfield received the centering pass in the neutral zone. He picks the puck up, immediately dekes over onto the backhand to cross the blue line over the defender that was on his check, then he cuts over onto the outside, puts the leg out in front to defend the puck against the other defender that goes over to him. And he has a lane to the net, he comes in, he snaps it over the glove, short side on the power play. Oh my gosh, it's 3-0 Badgers at this point, but Cole Caulfield has just scored a goal in two straight games. He is still a point per game at this point, that's his sixth point on the year. Oh my gosh, we're seeing it baby, we're seeing Cole Caulfield actually get the luck. Because we saw this in earlier games, but a lot of the dangles... A lot of the overall shiftiness that Cole Caulfield has within his frame, we were seeing that. This guy was out here deking the pants off of guys, going back and forth with some pretty nice deeks, but earlier on he just couldn't buy a goal. He would shoot it on net, he would either get saved, or it would get blocked or go wide or whatever. He had some very good opportunities. But now it's finally in there. A nice deke to the backhand, a nice protection of the puck on the forehand, and then a short side top cheddar goal. My goodness, that looked beautiful. But it didn't stop there, because if you give it a few more periods, wait until the third period starts where the Badgers are up 5-1. to one. It didn't take long, but a minute in, Cole Caulfield comes out here, and oh my goodness, he just comes in, absolutely buries it himself. This was a beautiful play, a long centering pass back from his own goal line. Caulfield knocks the puck down in the neutral zone. He's pretty much at the red line when he does this, and then he settles it down. He comes right into the zone. Right over into the middle of the face-off circle. He kind of backhand, forehand drags it. It looks like he's going for a pass, but no, he absolutely snaps it. Up high once again. Oh my goodness, he went over the glove once more. Cole Caulfield with his second goal on the night. What a beautiful play. And obviously, you know, the goal, it's nice. You like seeing the shot. You like seeing the accuracy, the precision behind that release. But there were so many elements of Caulfield that we love about his game that were on display in this clip right here. First off, the hand-eye coordination to be able to knock down a puck that was lobbed over from his own goal line, pretty much, down at the red line. 
He settles it down, and he picks it up, starts skating with ease. Afterwards, though, as he entered the zone, he had a really nice lane if he wanted to pass it. If he wanted to go cross crease, he could have, but he was kind of teeing it up the entire time, and the goalie wasn't really expecting it, I would say. The goalie kind of cheated over to the right, which is why that open side was on there on the left, and it's kind of why after the goal was scored, it kind of flopped down because there was so much open space there. But... Caulfield is using that to his advantage, man. He's taking a look at his options. He's surveying the ice. He knows he has a guy on the left, but he's focused on beating the goalie himself. So he uses the guy's bait, and my gosh, he absolutely takes advantage to the best extent possible. And then, though, it does not stop there, because at the end of the game, you had yourselves Cole Caulfield, who came over here with the empty net goal. Nice play, picked it up in the middle, crossed the blue line in. Cole Caulfield now has himself what is four goals in six games, dude. We're telling you right here, man. He's out here doing his thing. He had six goals to start off the year in six games last year. Now he has gotten four goals in his previous two games, along with the assist numbers as well. Cole Caulfield right now is at a total of four goals, four assists, eight points in six games played. That is awesome to see. And it's kind of scary, you know, because we kind of know that he's got a lot more left in the tank. We spoke about this previously, but the Badgers only have 12 scheduled games this year, so we're halfway through with this sixth game being concluded here. He's under a goal a game, but he's now way over a point per game on pace for 16 points in the 12-game span. But now we just have to wait and see, because... The dam has opened, as Cam Robinson says. The floodgates have been unleashed, as I was saying over here. When it comes to what Cole Caulfield is able to do, now that he's got that swagger back, now that the monkey is off of his back, now that he's finally gotten the first goal, first and foremost, and secondly, the first hat trick out of the way, who knows what exactly he's going to be able to do next. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this guy just absolutely just abandoned the playmaking and started scoring goals left and right and center, game in and game out, because he did that last year, man. Six goals, six games played last year. I remember last year when he started off the season in a, what was it, a friendly game against UBC, and he potted like four goals or whatever, and Habs fans are absolutely ecstatic because this guy was out here showing himself off as why he was one of the more highly rated prospects that dropped in the 2019 draft. So talk to me in the comments what you think about Cole Caulfield and his first hat trick on the year. I certainly am so, so stoked about it, but I'm kind of more stoked about what's going to come next, man. We have so much stuff to go forward with for Cole Caulfield. The season's halfway done, but now he's got that goal-scoring touchback. So talk to me in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you to everybody who commented on the last video and who spread some of the positivity there. I do appreciate your sentiments very dearly. So, so that's 12 to 9 and bye. <laughs>